Hey, what is going on everybody? Today we're going to be talking about how to use shared folders in VirtualBox. So we are on a macOS host, but it really doesn't matter what host machine or operating system you have because as long as you know where the folder is that you want to share, that's literally all you need to know. But I am going to show you how to do this in a Windows virtual machine as well as in Ubuntu uh, virtual machine as well. Okay, so first off, you need to make sure you have a virtual machine installed. But since you're here watching this video, I'm sure you've already got that taken care of. So we're going to start off here with the Windows 10 machine first. So all you want to do is you can just click on it and then click the settings right here. And when you do that, you're going to bring up your settings for the virtual machine of course and you see this shared folders tab right here go ahead and click on that and here is where we can actually choose which folders we want from our host machine to be shared with our virtual machine so i'm just going to make a random folder here on the desktop we'll call it test and i'm going to go in there and i'm just going to make another uh, folder in there and we'll just copy that a couple times why not so I can show you all basically how uh, the stuff is here and I'll even make a screenshot of the desktop and throw it in there just so we have some sort of file okay so now that we have our folder ready to go let's go ahead and add it so it's real simple here you just want to click on the add button right over here and the first thing I want you to choose is the folder path. So this is basically just selecting where your folder is. So if you click on this arrow, you can then click on other. And when you click other, you can then navigate to wherever you have stored the folder that you want to mount. So here it is, our test folder. And it's important to note that you can see you cannot mount actual files. So only folders. We can't just choose the screenshot. So you have to have an actual folder in order to use this, but keep in mind you can put whatever you want into the folder and it'll show up in the virtual machine. But we're going to choose our test folder, which has these contents in it, and we're going to hit open. So you can see it filled out that for us as well as the folder name. Now you definitely want to do auto mount. So this is going to make sure that it automatically mounts the folder every single time you log into your virtual machine. And you really don't want to do read only because most people probably want to make changes in the folder on the virtual machine. But if you want to do that, you can, it doesn't really matter. Now for the mount point, you don't need to worry about that at all. It's going to automatically put it uh, in a place and I'll show you that here in a moment. But once you do that, you just go ahead and hit OK. And you can see that now our folder is right here. And then once it's in here, you can see that it has full access. It's going to auto mount. And then over here, we have a few more controls. Uh, this is to delete the folder, of course. And then these are the settings that we literally just did right here. But it's nice to know that you can change those at any time. So once you get your folder in here, you want to go ahead and click on OK. It's going to save your settings for you. And now we can go ahead and boot up our Windows Virtual Machine. So I'll go ahead and let this boot up and then I'll show you where you can find your shared folder. Okay, so we've loaded into our Windows 10 virtual machine here. So the way VirtualBox does this with shared folders is it treats them kind of like a network location, creates a little virtual kind of server thing here. So in order to find that here in Windows, all you gotta do is head on over to your file explorer and once you're in your file explorer, you can then head over to the network section right over here. So when you go into the network section here, you're going to see probably two things right here. This is just the virtual machine itself. So whatever you named uh, your Windows PC right here, that's what that is. But this is the one we're going to be interested in right here. This is the VBox server. So this is the little virtual server I was talking about that is going to have our shared folder in it. So if we double click on this, you will notice that right here is our folder and it says VBox server test. So that is our folder right there. So if we double click on this, you see that all of our stuff is right here. Now don't worry about this folder. This is just uh, something, you know, system stuff that needs to be put in here. It's put in automatically, so don't worry about it. 
But you can see here is everything that I put in the shared folder. There's our folder, there's our copies, and here is our screenshot. So I'll just show you right now, we can open the screenshot for example, and there is our screenshot that I took and stored in the folder. So you can see we can open stuff no problem. If we go into one of these folders, it's obviously empty, but we can go into them no problem as well. Now the neat thing about this also is it is real time changing. I mean, it's a network location. So if I go into the test folder here on this, and let me see if I can resize these windows a little bit. Let's say that on Windows, I want to delete the folder to copy. So I just simply delete it and pay attention to what happens in the Mac uh, folder over here. So we hit delete and it's going to ask us want to delete it. So I'm going to hit yes and watch it disappear in real time. Hit yes. There you go. It's immediately gone. Let's say I want to delete the folder copy here. Simply delete and we'll hit yes whenever that pops up there we go so real time deletes it now the only thing I will say that's not real time is on your host end and I don't know why it is but you have to refresh it in the virtual machine so for example if I delete the screenshot like that and maybe I need to empty the trash or something I don't know okay well you see that it's completely gone now and it's still here in the test. So it doesn't update real time over here on the virtual machine, but if we hit refresh, it's gone. So real time on your host, but not on the VM. And I'll go ahead and show you that you can save anything you want to in there because we made it not read only. So here's just a random Word document or WordPad document, I should say. We'll click on the Save button here, and we'll just call this Test Document. And remember, to find the folder to save this in, you just go to Network, you choose the VBox server, you choose your test folder, whatever your folder is, and then you save it wherever you want to. I'm just gonna save it right here and do it. So watch what happens over here on the host end. You hit Save. It's gonna save it in there, and there it is. So pops right up no problem and then we can double click on it on the Mac and open it right up so that is how you do shared folders and how they work here on a Windows 10 virtual machine so let me just quickly show you how to do this on Ubuntu because there may be an extra step involved okay so again here is our Ubuntu virtual machine we're just going to click on it we're going to click settings and we're going to click on the shared folders tab now it's important to note that if you have multiple virtual machines and you want to use folders on each machine, you have to go and add it to each individual machine. So we're in the Ubuntu, you can see nothing's there. If I go back to Windows 10, go to shared folders, you can see that that one is there. So it's not going to automatically put this on all your virtual machines. and you can also use as many folders as you want. So we can use the same folder again, and well, I thought you might could just drag it, guess not. Uh, but we're just gonna go back in here, we're gonna click this, click there, put it in, auto mount it, and then I'm gonna just make a, another new folder. Man, I always hit the wrong key. <laughs> I think I can hit Command N. But it doesn't work like that. So here's just a random untitled folder. Just hit add, auto mount, other, click it right here, click untitled folder, where, where, whatever folder you want. There we go. We now have two folders. So again, you can put as many as you want, but you have to add them for each individual virtual machine. So I'm going to slightly modify our test folder. I'm just going to make another copy or two and I'm going to I'm going to go into this untitled folder just take a few screenshots and again guys you can put whatever you want I'm just throwing some quick files in there so we can see what is actually happening okay so now that we have that all good to go we got some test files Let's go ahead and start up our Ubuntu virtual machine. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and I will 
wait for this to start up real quick. All right, so we're here in Ubuntu 20.04. So it's basically the same way as it was in Windows. You want to navigate to wherever your file explorer is. So in Ubuntu, of course, it's just called Files. So we're going to go in here, and you can notice right away a few things. So remember that auto mount? Well, there is both of our folders automatically mounted right here. Now, Ubuntu makes this a little easier than Windows 10 does because you can literally just click on them right here, and there's everything. And we can click on this one, and there's the stuff in there as well. Now you can also click on other locations and you can see them right here. They're mounted right there and you can of course click on them uh, here as well. Click on it and it takes you right into it. Obviously the fastest way is to just click on them right here. Now there is something you may run into when you're actually trying to access uh, files in the folders. So let me just show you this. I'm going to try to open a screenshot, and I don't know if it's going to do it to me or not, but it might do it to you. Basically, okay, so it didn't do it to me, but sometimes when you try to open something, you may get an error that says you're not authorized to view the stuff in this folder. So here's how you can quickly and easily resolve that issue. All you got to do is head over to the terminal, or the command line, whatever you want to call it in Ubuntu, and you're going to want to enter this command right here. So it's add user, well, with sudo of course, add user, you put in your username, and then vbox sf. Now, like I said, you may or may not encounter this error. Uh, I did not encounter it just now trying to open this, but it's a good idea to go ahead and put this command in regardless if you get it or not. So uh, we're just going to do sudo add user and then you put your username exactly how you have it here in Ubuntu so you can see mine is just Benjamin so I'm just gonna put Benjamin like that and then you put the VBox SF which is the VBox server you hit enter it's gonna ask you for your password you just put that in hit enter again and you can see that in my case it says the user Benjamin is already a member of VBox SF now if you are not a member and you actually got the error that you couldn't access the files in the folder, it would tell you that the user, you know, whatever your username is, has now been added to VBox SF. So that's the command you put in in case you need to uh, fix that, but in my case, I didn't have to. So yeah, personally, Ubuntu makes it a little bit easier uh, to access your files in here. Uh, we can go ahead and open this text document just to show you that that works. Actually, this may take a while to open. It's probably going to use LibreOffice. Yeah, it is. But it's going to work, I promise you. Here it is. Obviously, screen recording very much messes up the performance of your virtual machine, but you can see that this is a test document and it works. So that's good to see. Uh, and then, again, I'll just go ahead and show you which folder are we in? The test folder. Uh, if we go ahead and just make a copy, let's do the text document, make a copy of it. Make a copy, you can see again that it's not real time on the host end, or on the uh, virtual box end, I should say. Not real time. So the way to make it real time is you got to, you know, obviously refresh it. There we go, test document. Now on the host end, it is real time. So if I want to delete, that test document that we just created, you can hit delete and it's immediately gone on the host end. Let's delete this folder to copy. Well, yeah, we can delete that. It's gone. And Ubuntu is the same way, of course, since this isn't read only. We can save files in here, make changes, do whatever we want to. But yeah, that is pretty much it for shared folders. It's, you know, a very helpful thing to enable. If you know it's a lot easier than installing like Google Drive or accessing that when you can just tie a folder from your host machine directly in to your virtual machine. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all I got for you today about shared folders. If you have any questions or problems, just leave them in the comments down below. I'll try to help you the best that I can. 
But overall, it's a pretty simple process here in VirtualBox. Just want to share this video. Uh, I've had several comments actually asking about shared folders and how they work. I personally never really used them. That's why I never talked about them in my install videos. But now you know. But yeah, guys, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching as always. Be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed it. Be sure to click that subscribe button as well in case you want to stay up to date on all my videos. And yeah, leave a comment down below. I'll try to help you if you got issues or somebody else in the comments, hopefully Mike can help you as well. Also, I don't mention this in the videos, but if you have problems that you know I can't solve or somebody else probably can't solve, the VBox, or I should say the VirtualBox forums are really good. And you can also look at Ubuntu forms as well because a lot of people run Ubuntu in a virtual machine. So, you know, you just go to VirtualBox forms uh, right here. It's the first link. It's forms.virtualbox.org. And you just search for your question, and I guarantee you somebody has had the same problem. Or you can go to the Ubuntu forms, and it's ubuntuforms.org. This one's actually really good. Uh, a lot of good information and help in here uh, from the Ubuntu community. So, yeah, just want to throw it out there. Anyways, anyways, thanks for watching, all the support, and I will catch you guys in the next video.